everybody, I'm Brendan Moran for Creek Currents. Today, we are at the Farmer's Market in Growers Square in Walnut Creek. Now, the Farmer's Market is a lot more than just fresh, locally grown fruits and veggies. So let's take a peek at some of the many offerings from this local treasure that's right in your backyard. Come on. I'm here with Gary Skrell, he's the Walnut Creek City Council member, and you're doing more than just shopping this morning, right? This morning is also a fun day to be spending with the residents of Walnut Creek, visitors to Walnut Creek. You know, every Sunday morning I'm here at the Farmer's Market, but one out of every five mornings I get to be here just meeting the folks in a much more casual way than in that formal setting of City Hall. Right, it's a lot less intimidating, right, yeah. if you're wearing shorts. Yeah, it's it's not only less intimidating, the folks seem to really enjoy face-to-face, -face, casual conversations with their elected officials, with their public servants, as I like to say. Now, do you, are you sent with a grocery list when you come down here? Every Sunday morning, depending on the season. This Sunday, primarily corn and tomatoes. The tomatoes are finally coming in and they're wonderful. What do you think about the crowds? Uh, it took me about 10 minutes to get from one end to the other. That's a good thing. You know, Walnut Creek is known for having a vibrant downtown, not just during the Lesher Center events, but even on the Sunday morning, we're packed. That's a good thing. Gary, I'll let you get back to your booth, which, by the way, you might want to think about maybe baking some bread or bringing some uh, berries oh, or something. I, you, you missed it. Sorry, oh, okay. Sorry, Brendan. Next time. All right. Gary, thanks so much. Nice to meet you. All right. All right, I'm here with Barbara Cobster of the Cottage Kitchen and all of her jams. Tell me about them. I have probably 18 to 20 different kinds of jam that I make from all the local fruits. I either go out to pick it, they bring it in here to market to me, or I grow a little bit of citrus in my yard. So everything is local. I make it all in a commercial kitchen here in Walnut Creek. And do you make it all yourself? I do. I get the fruit, I make the jam, I put the label on, and I come to market. And coming to market is the best. This is my home in Walnut Creek, and this is probably one of the best markets around. I'm guessing you have very sticky fingers. Well, I have strong fingers. <laughs> <laughs> That's for sure. <laughs> From like smashing figs and yeah, fruit and yeah, whatnot. All the fruit and well, everything has to be processed, and you have to, you know, get everything. And it's very, it's a simple process, but it's it has to be precise, and it's just doing the same thing over and over. But the best thing is to start with good fruit, and that's what we find here at the market. Hey, I'm here with Robin with Smith Family Farms. Robin. How are you? Hi. Good. Very good. I want to talk to you about your tomatoes, but specifically the big beef. The big beef. Well, they are wonderful tomatoes. It's just a regular slicing eating tomato, but it's wonderful flavor. They, um, they're sandwiches, salads. They, they do the trick. Pick up the big beef. The big, big, big. The big, big beef. This is a big one. They're not all this size, people. So <laughs> They could feed a family for about three weeks. Right? Yes, it could. Yes, it could. And these have just picked fresh, brought here to the farmer's market, never refrigerated, never, nothing cold storage, not gas. This is a fresh tomato. Oh, yeah. That's good. I'm here with Steve of Steve's Bees, and if you don't believe me, just look at his shirt. <laughs> How many bee shirts do you have in your closet? Nine. I do. There's a gal in our club that, if you bring the material, she'll make it for $25. It's a donation to the club. 
So I, I pick up uh, bee material and make, uh, well, she makes the shirts. Let's not talk about shirts, let's talk about honey. <laughs> What's right. your best seller here? Best seller probably is the general mixture, wildflower. Wildflower is always the, the tastiest, one of the Which one is that? This dark honey on the shelf here. Mm. There's a piece of uh, wildflower comb with wildflower. It tends, to be, it tends to be a darker honey. But this is wildflower comb sitting in wildflower honey. Now you make this yourself, right? I make it out of my house, actually. Most of it comes through my living room, my garage. And, uh, but uh, my bees are not at my house. They're all over the county. Well, I keep on thinking about you, Sister Golden Hesapies. And I just can't live without you. Can't you see it? Is that your first peach of the day? I'm dancing. You can dance? Show us your moves. Most popular selling wine here? Definitely the Mount Diablo ones. Um, we have a Syrah and a Cab. We wanted to put it as a Mount Diablo, so definitely the Cab. I'm here with Sherry Bennett of the Wana Creek Downtown Business Association. Sherry, how are you? Good. You're shopping this morning, I can I tell. I'm shopping. But the business district is also a very big part of making this farmer's market successful. Can you talk to me about that? Um, well, I'm the president of the Downtown Business Association currently, and of course we support the farmer's market. We support anything that brings business to the downtown area. We want to naturally keep the downtown alive and people down here shopping and uh, walking around downtown, and farmer's market certainly does bring a lot of people down here. The crowds are really impressive. I mean, are you at all surprised at that? No, I'm not. There's a lot of people in Walnut Creek um, for a million reasons that want to be outside and outdoor dining and outdoor events and the farmers market certainly is a great great thing to have in our town. What's the one thing that you absolutely have to have when you come to the farmers tomatoes. market? Tomatoes. Tomatoes. We're shopping for tomatoes today. I had a great time here at the farmer's market today, and you can too, because remember, it's open every Sunday from 8 to 1 p.m. from May to November, and then 9 to 1 p.m. from December to April. For more information, go to cccfm.org.